I would like to introduce to you Laura Mertens. She is one of our research physicians and she's working at the Department of Urology um, at the Netherlands Cancer Institute in Amsterdam. And I'm Simon Horblas, the chief of the department. Laura, you looked at the PET CT scan in muscle invasive bladder cancer. Mm -hmm. What did you find? Well, we found that approximately 20% of the patients was upstaged by PET CT compared to CT alone. Um, and we found that PET CT revealed a number of second primary tumors, which were not seen on CT. And as a result of these findings, uh, the clinical management changed in 18% of the patients. So in almost 20% of the patients, the management changed. Mm -hmm. And in what way did the management change? Uh, in some patients, the treatment changed from direct cystectomy to neoadjuvant chemotherapy, for example. Why was that? Um, in these patients, suspicious lymph nodes were seen on the PET-CT, which were not detected on the CT. Um, were all the nodes uh, proven by aspiration biopsy or by uh, histology? Yeah, in case an additional PET-CT lesion led to a management change, and uh, this lesion was always confirmed by fine needle aspiration or mm. biopsy. Okay, that's, that's important. So mm -hmm. we are quite sure that most lesions on the PET-CT scan were actually based on cancer. Yes. Um, what about the other changes? Um, in some other patients, the management changed from local curative therapy uh, to palliation based on PET-CT findings. Mm. Uh, meaning that patients that were scheduled for cystectomy did not undergo a cystectomy anymore? Indeed. Okay. And um, the other changes? Yeah, finally, in other patients, PET-CT found second primary tumors, um, which also led to management changes. What sort of uh, second primary tumors did you find? Uh, gastric cancer, esophageal cancer, colon carcinoma. Interesting. Mm -hmm. um, do you think that PET-CT scan based on your findings, mm -hmm. should be standard um, imaging modality for uh, muscle invasive bladder cancer? Yeah, I think that based on our results, as well as on those from previous prospective studies, uh, PET-CT uh, staging indeed is very useful for patients with muscle invasive bladder cancer. Do you think that um, PET-CT scan can be done in any hospital and be inter uh, interpreted by any nuclear physician? I think it is important to realize that the interpretation of a PET-CT scan critically depends on the knowledge and skills of the nuclear medicine physician. And as the treatment of muscle invasive bladder cancer is increasingly being centralized in tertiary hospitals, um, it might be advisable to perform PET-CT scans in these hospitals. Okay. So Laura, um, in conclusion, you found a 20% change in the management based on PET-CT scan mm -hmm. and you advise to uh, centralize the PET-CT scan in hospitals where there's a lot of experience in the management of muscle invasive bladder cancer. Absolutely. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome.